Hi guys, it's Amy from Amy's Little Bit of Everything. How you doing? Jazz hands. Flappers. Still flappers. <laughs> I forgot what I said. <coughs> I can't laugh too hard. I'll start coughing. Mm. Okay. I've got a good will haul. Oh, thanks for joining in. Um, you could be spending your Friday evening with anyone. And you chose to watch my little clip. So, I appreciate that. Okay. Um, Jeff has gone to the football game, so I'm staying home tonight. Um, just thought I'd do some videos and then probably go in there and crash for the evening. So, But um, it's kind of hot out. I mean, it's not bad here. I've got the ceiling fan above me. and um, But it is warm out, and we would be sitting in direct sun. And I just didn't really feel like doing that. But, like always... I grabbed up some good hangers again. These were 99 cents. I think sometimes you get 10, sometimes you get 12. This is a um, Goodwill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we got 10 here. But I grabbed up a couple of those because even Jason got a hold of me and said, Hey, Mamma, do you have any more of those hangers? I was like, Here, I'll hear. So I grabbed a couple of those up. And like I said, sometimes they have 10, sometimes they have 12. Do I have a little rooster tail? Okay, maybe not. Okay, then I gotta show you this. I got this little seat. Oh, I hope that's not cracked. Oh, it looks like a big kid did push back on it. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, it's almost cracked there. Okay, we'll get our use out of it and then we'll be good. But I got this a little chair for Henry. I'm going to let me spin you around. I've got, let's see where we would be at see those chairs out there I'm gonna put his little chair out there with them and they do I didn't see this in the store but they've got a little soft spot right here so if you guys know of anything like maybe if I put some glue on there if that'll hold it Henry doesn't weigh you know nothing but um, it might be okay even if I get a season out of it I think I paid like $4.99 so I don't know but I got that I'll that over there. I'll take that out there in the a little bit. And then I'm hoping this um, shredder works. It was $4.99. Let me get the tape off of it. Because I'm going to go in there and work it. I asked the guy about it, and he said if I kept my receipt, I could bring it back. And I thought, well, I just might. Um, let me hold it up. But he said he thought it worked because he thought that somebody had requested earlier to come and um, try it out. But it's nice and heavy. And it looks like a, oh, it says Amazon Basics. So I paid $4.99. So even if I get a little use out of it, my other one is just burnt up. Let me see if this fits on here. Come on. Crap. It might have been why they disformed it with the tape, too, because it was really tight. Give me just a second. I'm shaking you. Oh yeah, it fits. Okay. So I'm going to be cleaning that up and take that inside and see if that works. I can't wait. I hope it does. Mine just went bad. Oh. Sorry about that. My battery is getting low. Remember the big World Atlas that I got? <laughs> this was $4.99. And I think that's what it was. Yeah, $4.99. This is the old school. And I wanted this so that I could show Henry how the world looks, you know, and how far apart we are. It's got a little wear and tear. And I remember this from school, from our school, like little kids. Um, but like you can set it at noon. And then you'll see, you know, like down here is noon. Over here on the other side of the world is midnight. You know, I don't know. I just always remember that from school. So I guess maybe they had it hanging. I was hoping I could find a base for it. So, cause I like for it to sit on the base and spin it. But um, yeah, I love this old stuff. That's old school. That's what I grew up with. Now my little one can find a new home. All right, you guys are gonna laugh at me, but I saw this little purse. I loved it. Now, it, it had to be in, I mean, it has to be in good shape. It has to be, smells like real leather. 
but I just love it. And it has wear and tear on it. I've got one of those uh, markers that will help darken it up. See, like over here. But I just love the opening. And I mean, some, I could just imagine some little old lady probably carried it. And I'm not saying, I mean, I'm old too, so. But it's, I mean, it's nice inside. It's got leather inside. I don't know if it would, if it, it has no tags at all. And this, oh, darn it. I knew I pulled too hard. This little wristlet, it's got this little elastic thing, is in there. And it has material in the inside. So I, and I know it had to go with it, but it's just discolored. But this has no tag, guys. And there's a little hole there where that elastic went. So I'm going to get that fixed back in there. And if you guys have seen anything like this or know of anything like this, let me know. Let me know because I think this thing is old. And it's got like the little clasp on top. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But I could just see some little old lady just be like, well, honey, let me tell you. But it's in good shape. I mean, the, the straps aren't cracked. I mean, you know, they're the material is starting to, you know, fray away, but nothing bad. Cute. <laughs> Got it. And then the guy had this on the wall. And there's my little bee with my flowers. And he kind of held it like this to me. And I was like, I go, can I see the inside? And he was like, oh, sure. You know, and went like this to me. Well, I got a glimpse. And, you know, I was kind of like, well, I mean, it's clean. And it's a relic. Relic, I think that's what you call it. I think, oh, hummingbirds just went flying around. I think Relic is, um, is that Coles? I think. And so I kind of looked in the inside and I was like, wow, that's not bad at all. And I was like, okay, I'll get it. Well, then after I got out to the car, I noticed, where was it at? It looked like, it looked like maybe like a dog chewed on it or a baby. I don't know. But it's got that little funny thing right there. Um, the rest of the strap, it looked just fine. Yeah, it's got chew marks on it. What is that? I don't know what chew marks that is. It doesn't look like a baby or it doesn't look like a... It might have been a small dog because my little dog could do that. But yeah, I noticed that on the handles. But it's okay with me. I mean, I just got it because of the bee, and I'll clean it up, but it's just a cute little purse. It's got the little ladybug, and I mean, it's relatively clean. At first, when he held it up there, I thought it was like a name brand of some kind, but um, but yeah, the handle's a little bad, so if I carry it, I'll carry it. If I don't, I don't. I'll just hang it kind of in my room. These hummingbirds are going to get me. Okay. Then I got these cute little pants. Well, the color was pink for half off, but um, I got a friend up here and her little girl looks so cute in these. So I went ahead, oh gosh, I didn't, 18 months. Okay, yeah, that'd be perfect. It's just the waist looked a little big, but I just thought these were adorable. And these were all half off. Um, let's see, this shirt's half off. I got this one for me. It was half. I love these kind of Florida shirts. Um, it was pink tag. Oh, imagine me getting this color. And, but it's real soft. I love this material because it's been worn in. People are driving by looking at me like, why is that lady talking to her phone? I might be talking to someone. Then I got some of these work pants for Jeff. He is a 3232 and it was pink. And this is Real King, I think. Real King brand. And they're the pants that he likes. I couldn't believe it. Half off. There was no stains that I could see. There was another pair and it had, it was, they looked pretty bad. No, these look perfectly fine. Yep. Yep. But, um, that pant leg has one and then it's got a carpenter. He likes the carpenter jeans and even to get them at half off. My gosh. Then I got this flannel shirt. It's really cute. It reminded me, and it was pink, so it was half off. It makes me think of fall. 
that's what I'm ready for. And I got another bag. It keeps telling me my phone is low. I thought I charged it earlier. I forgot to plug it in. I took a nap and I forgot to plug it in. I got Jeff another pair of jeans. And guys, these was Rule Kings, pink tag, so they were half off. I mean, like brand new. I mean, these look brand new. Um, but the bad thing, he's a 32-32. These are 33-34s. So, I mean, he wears a belt anyway, so I'll just tell him, put your belt on. But, I mean, they're brand new. I, I couldn't pass them up. So, and half off, that made him like a couple of bucks, I think. Now, you guys know how I always get, okay, this is a pillow sham. But see the material and everything on it? See, it's a material, or, but it was... Um, half off, but what I do is I'll probably take these and maybe No, I don't want to half them. Oh You know what I could do? I could sew these together Because that'd make it really thick. I use these for my canning But you know how I was telling you guys um, whenever I was doing the the baby gift you could get something like this, sew these together, and this would be a cute baby blanket. And what did I pay? Like, I think it's like regular $2, and then half would be a dollar. So $2 for a baby blanket. And there's no stains. All it is, is it's just a sham that um, somebody probably, you know, wanted not the sham and wanted the quilt, or maybe they sold them separate. But this one was... Um, Pioneer Woman and I think oh my gosh were these for a pillow? They're huge why do they have all these pillow shams? Um, <laughs> I'm going with the pillow sham I don't know what do you guys think? Is this a pillow sham? Because okay see it has this it has the opening here. Then it has these to tie. But look how big this is. That's like king size. But you guys, look at this. Oh my goodness. This will be pretty too. And now my, I might take something like this. Just cut off the straps. Let me come around here. I feel like I could show you better with this hand. Cut off the straps. Just sew across there. And then this would be one big thing for canning. Because if I put that together, this one's a little bit thicker than the other one. But wouldn't that even be a cute baby blanket? See, I get this kind of stuff. You get it at half off, so you're only paying like a buck for it. And then, and Pioneer Woman. Okay. I'll take it. Um, gosh, did I go through that? I thought it'd take me longer. I think I just got excited. But see what I was telling you about? You could, and I mean... This one right here is a little faded, but it's not faded. Like if you gave it to somebody, they would think, I think they would just think that that's the material. Yeah, that is so pretty. See that? Um, but you could sew that together and have it to be a little baby blanket and you paid two bucks for it. And it's already quilted. That's the thing. You just sew around the edges. That's all you'd have to do. Or make that a baby blanket. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Especially for the mom that maybe likes bright colors like that, because usually it's pink, baby pink, baby blue, but, or even look at that backside. That's beautiful. But anyways, I saw those, and I get excited about stuff like that, because I can find, I see this, and I just think of all these things. So, yeah, I got a flannel shirt. Jeff, two pairs of pants. He's pretty much done with the pants. But I always like to get them now. And then, um, I was just looking at this U.S. Vintage. Yeah, this must be a guy shirt because it says small. It has one little, wait, let me see, there. But it doesn't bother me. I'll wear this in the winter. And I thought it was cute and everything. I love this color too. And I love the, the faded color that they have. Yeah. So, oh, I didn't see. That's partially on the sleeves. I didn't even notice that. Huh. All right, y'all. And then the little baby pants and my little purse. And if you guys find anything like this, 
I don't know. It was just one of those things. It may not be worth anything, but I just thought that is just telling me. When I saw this, I was like, that's something. And then to have the little purse inside. Oh, I you. And it has absolutely no tag, no marking at all. I just find that so. And you can tell somebody used it because this is where somebody puts stuff in there. Hmm. How do I look something like this up, guys? I mean, I don't even know how to even begin. And it's got the little coin purse. Does it smell like money? It smells like money. But who knows? But yeah, it's been used. It's been well loved. But my gosh, who can carry a little purse like that? I need this. <laughs> Here I go. But yeah, and I really like this one too. And this was the back. I thought it was cute. I'm going to clean it up. And that's a little sticky there, but I got some stuff that takes that sticky off there. And it's really cute. It was just the handles, which, you know, I'll kind of, you know, treat them. And they're not bad. I mean, no more than I'll carry it. Just look like something. Maybe it was a mouse. Nah, it looks like bite marks like a little dog. That's probably why they got rid of it. All right, guys. I'm going to see if my shredder works and put Henry's chair out there and get my clothes washing and work on my doilies. And I will be showing you a steam new haul in just a few minutes. All right, guys. Put a smile on your face. Put a smile on somebody else's face. It's a win-win situation and everybody lives in a better world. Bye, guys. Have a God-blessed day. Until next time. Bye.